Hi, everybody. Uh, welcome. Let's go ahead and get started here. Um, welcome to all of you who are here with us live, um, as well as those who are watching the recording later. Uh, my name is Sam Smart, and I'm an associate professor of film and media in the communication department at Calvin. And I'm also currently serving as the director of the Master of Arts in Media and Strategic Communication program. Uh, so for those of you who are unfamiliar with the MMSC, it is a really unique program. It's a collaborative, it's residential. It's a graduate degree program that teaches uh, strategic communication theory and practices and creative media production. It can be taken full-time in 12 months, or it can be taken part-time while working. So the classes meet in person in the evening to accommodate work schedules. And um, also we think that a hallmark of the program is that um, in, in sort of in line with our mission as a Christian university, we instill a highly ethical approach to communications careers. Um, and lastly, we, we seek to achieve excellence by ensuring that our students are deeply networked, not only in the local community here in Grand Rapids, but also in broader professional communities. Now to that last point, what's really exciting about today is that it was always part of the vision of this program to hire an external director, someone to come in with significant professional experience, agency experience to take the helm of this program. Uh, we launched this program in the midst of a global pandemic, sort of against all odds in 2021. And three years later, we've had four successful cohorts come through. And so now we're taking that next step. And we're really, really excited uh, to bring Sharon Neuenhaus on board as the next director of the MMSC program. So without further ado, I'm going to bring Sharon up here for you. And I'll just say a couple quick words of introduction. Um, so Sharon's joining us after over 25 years in public relations and corporate communications experience across agencies and corporations. She brings a wealth of knowledge in multiple disciplines and industries, having worked in New York and globally. Uh, Sharon's also a Calvin alumna who credits her career success to the critical thinking and reformed Christian values instilled in her at the university. She stands behind Calvin's mission, she's passionate about mentorship, and she's invested in the future of Calvin students. She brings a civic-minded approach to her work and is committed to the integration of faith, learning, and student development. All right, Sharon, so my first question for you, and let me just say sort of our run of show here, is that I'm going to ask Sharon a couple of questions uh, to have her introduce herself briefly, and then I'm going to bring two other people into the conversation, Simon and Alexis, two of our, um, of our alums, and we're then going to have sort of a conversation amongst the four of us about the MMSC and the future of the program. So, um, Sharon, first of all, tell me a little bit about yourself. Sort of, um, I gave a little bit, a very quick intro, but give me a little bit more. What experience do you bring to the table? What experience are you bringing to the MMSC program? Sure. So, um, thanks again for having me today. Mm -hmm. So, my experience is a varied background in public relations and corporate communications. I started my career after Calvin in corporate America and remained there for about seven years. I worked in the mortgage industry. There was a, quite a big financial boom at the time. And then I later moved to agency work. I then transitioned to um, an international startup in South America and I stayed there for six years and then came back and came back to agency work and I was very focused in the travel sector. Um, but then during the pandemic and post-pandemic, transitioned to more work that was focused on nonprofits, focused on entrepreneurs, and going back into the agency setting once again. Fantastic. And so what about this change for you? Why higher ed? Why now? Um, when I found the job, I thought it was such an interesting opportunity, and I, I loved the fact that Calvin was looking for someone with, with um, you know, quote unquote, real world experience. Um, for myself, it's been a really interesting time um, over the past few years in public relations, and I think I've really found my passion for helping to develop staff. Um, concurrent to that, I was also working with a client that is focused on the job market and worked with their senior management team in very in-depth basis on a, every month as the jobs report came out and really assessed what is the future of, um, of employment and what is the future of what the, the skills that um, it is needed for various positions. Um, simultaneous to this, I was noticing some issues with my staff. Um, it, you know, it was even though we're a few years out post-pandemic, there are some kind of lingering um, learning curve issues. 
And as I found this position at Calvin, I thought, wow, this is a really great opportunity to use the experience I've had over the past few years to, you know, give back to the university kind of I came from and that I credit to a lot of the really strong building blocks of my career. Awesome. Fantastic. All right. Let's bring in the other two participants in our conversation. So we have Simon Post and we have Alexis Gortzma. All right. So brief introductions, and then I'll put a question to each of you two as well um, to let everyone get to know you a little bit better. So Simon first. Simon's a 2020 graduate of Calvin, where he majored in strategic communication, although I would add that you took a lot of media production uh, classes as well, even though you didn't get the major. He finished <laughs> uh, undergrad a semester early um, to begin his graduate work in the MMSC full-time in January 2021 as part of the inaugural MMSC cohort. And then he completed the program in December of 2021. So we did the one year track and he began work as an art director uh, for donor advertising agency in 2022, which is the position that he is still in today. Alexis is a 2021 graduate of Calvin University where she double majored in film and media and strategic communication. And then she took a position with Biased Electric after graduating where she was quickly promoted to uh, director of marketing. And then she returned to Calvin that next fall in 2021 to the MMSC to take the program part-time. And she completed it over the course of two years, uh, finishing in the fall of 2023 while working full-time the entire time. All right, so Simon, I'll go with you first. Um, can you just introduce yourself a little bit? Tell us why did you choose to go to the MMSC and how did it help you in your career? Yeah, um, Sam, first of all, thanks for having me. Everybody recognized a lot of familiar faces here. So good to see you guys again. I see Jesse Holcomb waving at me up top. <laughs> Um, I loved the MMSC and I loved the experience that it gave me. I think there's, I can narrow it down to maybe three specific reasons why I chose the MMSC. Um, the first one was that coming out of college, I, I gained a lot of great skills. And one big one was that I learned that I want to do advertising. I love advertising. Um, that being said, I did not know how to get into it. I didn't have great Photoshop skills. I didn't have incredible connections. I didn't have a portfolio. These are a lot of the things that, that you need if you even want to get your foot in the door at an agency. Um, and the MMSC was able to provide, provide me with all of that, in addition to some really great connections as well. Um, I would also say, too, that the connections I had with my professors are, who I already studied under at Calvin, that really helped the transition just be so, so seamless. Um, and as a result, you know, as Sam said, I, I got a job in my dream agency. Um, and I wholly credit them MSC for the skills and the portfolio and everything that I needed to land that in the first place. So happy to give back in any way I can. Fantastic. All right. Thanks, Simon. Alexis, same question to you. Um, introduce yourself. Uh, why did you choose to go to the MMSC and how did it help you in your career? Yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you for having me. And to echo Simon, a lot of familiar faces up there. So hi, everyone. Um, why I chose to go to the MMSC, I might sound a little bit like a broken record here after Simon, but the biggest thing for me was very similar, as Sam said, the double major in film and communications. Through pursuing both of those, I realized that I wanted to do marketing, but I felt like I was lacking that marketing experience. And the MMSC was really built around like investing further into that, really complementing both of those majors. Um, and more so than that, building a portfolio that you can actually take with you to job applications and whatever you need. Um, and that portfolio piece was really big and really exciting to me, especially because that meant that we would get to work with real world clients, which I was super pumped about. Um, the second reason for that is the professors were really, really a big draw for me. Having been an undergrad at Calvin, I already knew who I was going to get to work with and who I could work further with. And that really, really excited me and that that networking and just where that could go. Um, so that was a huge draw for me. In my career, it was super helpful. I, I'm one of the only people in marketing in my career. And my boss was really encouraging of me to make sure that I stay plugged in to other marketing professionals. Um, since I wasn't necessarily going to get that at my company. So this was a really good way for me to have those connections and have people to bounce ideas with and still make sure that I'm developing those marketing skills outside of work. Awesome. Thanks yeah. so much. Oh, sorry. I, I totally forgot to say one thing, Sam. Is that all right? Yeah, go for it. Um, I, I completely forgot to say how it has helped me in my current career. Um, obviously, all the things I said 
were big. But another thing that I've noticed about the MMSC and Calvin specifically is that getting a master's in communication means like <clears throat> in all, anytime you work with people, you're going to be using communication. Um, whether it comes to me trying to sell in an idea or convince a client like, hey, this fits your brand standards, this fits your brief, this is a great idea and you should do it. Um, a lot of those quote unquote soft skills, I really, really honed in the MSC. And honestly, I think that's what helped has helped me um, sell in a lot more ideas and get a lot more opportunities as opposed to someone else who's kind of on the same track that I would be uh, career wise. So just want to throw that in there too. Yeah, no, that's great. Thanks so much, Simon. Um, okay, so thank you all for introducing yourselves. Um, this is where the conversation gets exciting to me. Simon, Alexis, I've known y'all for ages. I had you in class as undergrads and as grad students. Sharon, I've been getting to know you well the last couple of months, but now I get to put you in dialogue with one another and get to hear you all talk about the program um, and and really get excited together about its future and what, what potential there is. So I guess, uh, Simon, Alexis, let me throw it to you first. What questions do you have for Sharon coming in um, at, from the outside as the new director of the program? Yeah, Sharon, I have a question for you. Um, wondering what led you to pursue a career in communications in the first place? Well, it's a funny story because um, so I was a I was an English journalism major at Calvin. And, um, you know, the old joke about English majors is what are you going to do with a job once you're an English major? And, and one of my professors said to me, they said, basically, we recommend one of two paths. You can be a communications professional or you can be a journalist. And um, I, I came from you know, my father was a marketing professional. Um, I know I knew I kind of had a penchant to I have a yeah, tendency to sell things, if you will. So I thought trying communications would be a good avenue for me. Um, it was it was the very late 90s. There was a huge mortgage boom. And um, those two things together provided me the opportunity to get a marketing position in a mortgage industry and um, learn quite a lot about corporate communications and external public relations from from the very beginning of my career. Hmm. That's okay. awesome. Well, Sharon, you talk a lot about your work, your kind of experience in corporate and as an advertising professional, kind of the the standard track, so to speak, is you start out in the agency and then eventually you sort of not retire or say, but you kind of take a lot off and go to corporate. So I'm curious, it seems like your experience is backwards. And if you could speak to that a little bit. Yeah, definitely. If you look at my resume, it is it is not the traditional communications track whatsoever. I've kind of bounced back and forth a few times. Um, no regrets. But, you know, I, I started in corporate because of the opportunity. Um, and then I as I, I am, as our company was growing again, this was the mortgage industry it was really booming where budgets were getting enormous and more was being focused in PR. And I worked for someone who came from a, we brought in someone from outside who came from a PR agency. And he said to me, he's like, Sharon, I really like you. He said, but in order to move up in this field, you really knew, need to get agency experience. So I recommend you do that. And it, I didn't do it immediately, but eventually that's what led me to um, try out agency. And it's great. It's um, for the reasons that everyone will tell you. Um, I know Alexis has, you know, can, can relate to this in some ways. Like, for example, I started in a company and on basically, you know, just a couple days in was really running, um, you know, a, running client relations. So you really kind of get dropped, you know, dropped in with a good amount of training, but any doubt you have in yourself is quickly removed simply because you need to act. So I found my agency experience very beneficial in that way. And throughout the course of my career, I've continued to jump back and forth. Um, I've had an, I had an unbelievable opportunity to um, after, after a while working at a corporate, while working at a corporation as BASF's the, you know, the world's largest chemical company, I was, you know, presented a kind of a once in a lifetime opportunity. Would you like to come down to Argentina and help run marketing for a luxury resort? Of course. <laughs> so, so I have definitely, I am a person who is, who is open to the, you know, non-traditional track and, you know, perhaps that's, you know, what, what led me here today. Right. So, um, so yeah, I, I, it's a great question. 
Um, but that is that is why I did not take the agency first route, if you will. Um, okay, Sharon, let's turn it around now. Uh, here you are, you're entering this program. Um, you have some experience with Calvin, but the MMSC is new to you and you're talking to some, uh, some alums. What questions do you have for them about uh, their path, their journey, their experience? Absolutely. So Simon, um, we kind of dabbled a little bit into your, into your background and how um, the program did such a great job preparing you for your agency experience. Let's let's talk about that in a little bit more detail. I'd love to know, like, what, how, how, what did you work on specifically that really enabled you to jump in on on campaigns and an ad agency, which can be very intimidating. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that's a great question. Um, we worked on, I think it might have been three or four different ad campaigns throughout the course of the the agency course in the MSC, and then also the advertising course. Um, but one that really sticks out to me was um, a campaign for the young ones, which is for the one club for creativity. It's like a, I always say it's like an Oscars for the advertising, but it's not nearly as big of a deal. Um, so it's like a competition. It's a competition where you submit campaigns that you've made and maybe you can win awards. Um, and we did one for Bang and & Olufsen. And I'm going to pause because oh, I can't see any of you guys, but no one knows what Bang & Olufsen is. It's a speaker brand. Um, they make these incredibly, incredibly luxurious, I'm talking like $50,000 speakers, um, and they're completely irrelevant. And so they wanted to get this. They wanted to advertise to younger generations. And we're like, I'm a younger generation. I don't have 50K to drop on a speaker. So how in the world are we going to like bring this to life and make this a fun campaign? Um, so, I mean, I'll spare you the details, but essentially we realized these speakers are absolutely gorgeous, right? When compared to like the big ugly monoliths of like a like a, a black speaker these the bang and olsen speakers are like works of art and so we came up with a campaign line um silence that speaks volumes because bang and olsen it sounds just as great silent because it looks so good um and so we took that kind of contradictory idea and we we built it out into a full campaign in about like two weeks which is super super fast paced and and as i work in an agency that's about average so right off the bat, having that experience of just hustling, working all the time on something that you love, um, it's a very difficult but very rewarding experience. Um, and we actually ended up making the shortlist for the awards, which was really, really cool. And then the way that translated into my job, as I said, the work experience was really relevant, creating a video using, thinking of all sorts of multimedia, like we want to put this on social media, we want to do in-store real life activations, we want to make a TV spot. Um, thinking of how all that comes together under one 360 campaign is not easy. And so having that experience right off the bat was amazing. And then the last little tidbit, which um, I'll admit, I think I got a little bit lucky on, but when I interviewed at Donor, um, my boss at the time, I, who, I did not know this, she was working on JBL, the speaker brand. And she saw my campaign for Bang & Olufsen and she was like, okay. that's pretty smart. And I ended up getting an internship and then hired because of it. Very cool. That's a lot, but it was a fantastic campaign for what that is worth. <laughs> I remember seeing it and just being yeah. like, oh my gosh, mm. we have to do this now. Cause I was the cohort cohort after Simon. Like that, <laughs> that set us up for failure right there. <laughs> no. No, that's amazing. So Simon, I also understand. So you did the program in one year. You started right after undergrad, and then mm -hmm. you started looking for a job after. Correct. How did how did that experience go for you? And is that something that you would recommend for, for others? Yeah, that's a great question. Um, <clears throat> this piece of wisdom actually comes from my mom that I'm about to share. She's, she told me, she said, Simon, if you go to school and then you leave school, uh, it's, it's going to be kind of tough to go back to school. Just because I was in that student mentality of, of writing papers and working on assignments and staying up till 2 a.m. every other night. Um, doing projects. And so the transition to the MMSC, I mean, A, it was on the same campus. B, I had a lot of the same professors. And C, I was still doing schoolwork that honestly felt more relevant to my ideal career than undergrad. So it sort of felt like an elevation of undergrad, if you will. Um, and going from three and a half to four and a half, it was just like tacking on another year. I loved it. I recognize that maybe not everybody has the uh, flexibility to do a master's program full-time. 
I will say it was a lot of work in a short amount of time. Um, but to then be able to come out of that program for, from the start of undergrad to a grad degree in four and a half years and have all of this relevant experience and a, and a great portfolio and be able to just dive headfirst into the job search, I thought it was a really great experience for me. Great. So Alexis, your your experience was a bit different. You you started work and then you then you entered the grad program. So how how do you find how did you find that experience? So many different things. <laughs> a lot of words can describe that experience. Um I think, yeah, I was working as an intern for Beist during the last semester of undergrad. Um, and I knew I really loved it. And that was my goal. I really wanted a job and a career here at that time. And fortunately, I was able to get that. So that was my top priority. And I was like, all right, this is the job that I love. I want to keep doing this. Like I'm taking that and I'm going with it. Sam had been talking to me about the MMSC. So I give him a lot of credit for why I did it. Um, but yeah, I took that full-time role and kind of what I was saying before of like the encouragement from my company and my boss and talking to Sam, um, I was like, yeah, you know what? I, I think I can make this happen. Sometimes I'm a chronic over committer, um, but you know, it, it's worked out so far. Um, so I was like, yeah, we, <laughs> yeah, um, Sam and I sat down pretty intentionally and like went through what a schedule can look like and how we can make this happen. Um, and that was incredibly helpful. So I ended up doing that, uh, doing that full-time work with, yeah, part-time MMSC. And honestly, it, it was a lot, it was really hard, but, um, what I loved, I loved, and I would highly recommend to anyone that can make this happen. I'm doing both of those side by side because I saw direct correlation between the program and my job. And, um, I know we have Jesse Holko on here. He knows, but I did a research project with him that was for my company that we then were able to launch. Um, and so it was literally one project that was being used in my career and for the master's program, which was like super cool. That I just thought that was the greatest thing. And I loved being able to do that. Um, so there was a lot of benefit to doing both at the same time. That's phenomenal. Awesome. Yeah, that's Thanks for both of you for sharing your stories. Yeah. yeah, that's, that's, that's great. Um, so we're, we're running a little bit short on time. I want to respect people's time. I have one question. I feel like the broadcast anchor who's like, all right, in 30 seconds, can you say this? I want to, I, one thing that I want to make sure to hit Sharon, before we open it up for a question or two, um, who in your mind is the MMSC for? I mean, I'm looking at the people who are here on this call. We have people who are really mostly interested in film production. We have people who are mostly interested in, interested in uh, strategic communication. We have alums, we have faculty, we have current undergrads, a, a big, a big, a uh, lot of representation on this call. Why is this the right fit for any or all those people? So it's, it is the right fit for any or all of those people. And even a broader audience, I think the the beauty of a degree in communications and this degree specifically is that communications goes into everything that we do. Um, you know, writing is a, is a core import, component of all jobs. How we communicate with other people is a core component of making things happen. But the program has really um, amazing components or aspects in terms of you're taught strategy, you're taught communications, you're taught social media. I'm so impressed by the program's film studies. It's phenomenal. And the faculty contributing to this, pro to this aspect of the program are phenomenal. And it's really unique um, in terms of other master's degrees in the area. Um, so yeah, I, I think this is kind of for every, any and everyone. And speaking to my own experience in a similar program, what I think that you know a master's like this can really help you determine what you want to do um, through learning about it hands on. If you know in a in a program format, if you don't have the opportunity to do so in your current role, or even if you do in a current job, it kind of helps to enhance that experience and help help you figure out you know the age old question: What do I want to be when I grow up? You know more quickly and more effectively. Fantastic. Okay, great. I'm glad we got that in. We have one more minute. Um, we might go over a little bit, but I want to respect people's time. Any any questions from anyone who's on the call for Sharon or, or Alexis or Simon? 
Um, Sharon, I would love to know what stood out to you the most about the program when you first heard about it. Absolutely. What stood out to me most about the program is the film studies aspect um, that I mentioned. And also, there is a really wonderful balance of strategy and practical knowledge. Um, in today's job market, um, there is such a need for skills, right? Like everyone is, is thinking on AI and how is AI going to disrupt the job market? And the, and the key to... Um, to knowing how to work with AI and to ensure your job doesn't become, say, irrelevant because of AI, is having the skills to know how to manage, um, the skills to know how to just do, if you will. A lot of um, other programs can just be more, much more theory-based. And it's great to have a program where the graduates um, complete and they can go into a job and know how to do something already, as Simon and Alexis have shared with us today. Fantastic. Thanks, Ella. That came to us from one of our, our current MMSC students, Ella, by the way. Um, any last questions before we wrap it up? Uh, no questions from me, but I just want to say how, as a faculty member in the MMSC, uh, how excited we are, Sharon, to have you on board. And also just how um, what a treat it is to hear from, from you, Simon, and Alexis about your experiences, the value of the program to you, and what you're doing with your education today. Thanks, Jesse. Thanks, Jesse. Thanks so much, Jesse. All right. Well, in closing, um, I'd love to invite you to check out uh, more about the program. I'm going to put a couple of uh, QR codes up here in just a second. One of them goes to the website for the program. The other one is my Calendly. If you want to meet with me, talk to me about what the program might look like, uh, I would really encourage you to do that. And um, thank you so much for um, joining us for this uh, for this call today.